Pulling up over here to Saguaro. Uh, Got to check out these freshmen over here. These 25s. Coach O will absolutely uh, strangle me if I don't get out here to check his boys out. Uh, they got some construction going on over here. Probably building the Mon Super Facility Field House. That'll probably have like a full-size basketball court strictly, you know, for the football team. I'll probably have a full entertainment center, like main event, like a mini main event. Because Mons is one of the best coaches in the state. Sent a couple players to the pros. Sent a whole bunch, uh, Division One and uh, to various colleges. You know, you got to you got to give the man what he wants. Also, I got I cannot wait to check out these 25s over here at Saguaro. My guy Garrett Martin. I got to get a good look at him. Logan Powell. Um, they got some studs over here. I'm not going to get to see Dejon Hinton because that boy's starting on varsity. But hey, this is going to be a whole lot of fun and I can't wait, man. Uh, South Point is also undefeated. From last year, they had some guys, Jackson Banye. Um, they also had, uh, you know, a couple kids playing up. Elijah Rushing, uh, Luis Cordova. So you know that they got some dogs over there in Southern Arizona. Make sure that you guys support your guy at Just Chili. Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Also subscribe, JustChili.tv. Uh, turn them notifications on. Smash that like button. Don't break the computer or your phone. Um, Hey, your boy Chili, I'm about to check up into this place right now. Saguaro, we here. Uh, I call it all American Bill sometimes because they got all these all Americans here. Anyways, I'll be right back. These boys from Saguaro officially coming out here. Hey, this game is about uh, two minutes away from starting. Just checked in with uh, South Point. They got some boys over there. Watch them warm up. Undefeated right now, making the long trip. Hey, this is where they learn. This is where this rivalry is kind of born, in case y'all don't know. There's kind of a South Point Saguaro rivalry. Got to keep that at all costs. Make sure that we got that going. Hey, your boy Chili, we're going to get to this game right now. Got to catch all the action. Saguaro just moving the chains for South Point, giving South Point that first down. I know Coach O is not going to be happy about that. Punter at South Point avoids disaster. But I do think Saguaro is going to go for it. It's fourth and three, and they're on the 30. So, I mean, shoot, I think they have to go for it because I don't think they got a field goal kicker on the freshman level. Mon's got a lot of things in the program. The field goal kickers on the freshman level, I don't know. Move them chains, move them chains. The world first down. Hey, Saguaro making quick work. Them boys uh, just marched right in. I think it took them like six plays, but uh, hey, nobody's really counting. Well, I'm kind of counting. Saguaro takes an early lead. So Oro helping South Point get the ball back and uh, continue their drive, uh, roughing the kicker. Yikes. Big fella gonna eat the day. Hey, this is a world running back over here just running hard, uh, picking up these yards, just uh, taking out South Point bite by bite. That was a bigger bite than the last couple that he took. Uh, Grant Williams in the end zone for six. I see Ridge Dutchacall and uh, Cannon Siegel and Raul Aguilar over here chilling, so I'm gonna go catch up with them. Probably either at the quarter or at halftime, we'll see. All right, go ahead, move that pile, man. Let them know that you're there. Man, it took like eight dudes to bring them down. It seems like just like yesterday you were starring in these games. Yeah. What's it like coming out here as a senior, you know, and watching your little guys go to work? Uh, you know, it's crazy, it's surreal. Four years has gone by really fast, and you know, it's just exciting to see the young guys get out here. These, are, these guys are the future of the program. 
and it's super cool they're out here balling out right now so it's special who are some of your favorite kids to watch out here uh there's a couple dudes von and duger he's a dude for sure quarterback he's really cool um reese rinaldi he's pretty good uh little pembert he's a dog owen he's owen i owen. like him he's My man really moves good. well hey what about school for you man uh, are you still in that spanish class are you still in the spanish class no i'm i'm out of that oh I'm, no mas that. he said no mas yeah no bueno <laughs> so who's your favorite class right now Who, uh, who's your favorite teacher your senior favorite year? Class, who's making it right for rich you know i really like miss highland she's super cool all my teachers are great uh i probably say my favorite class right now is ap psychology hey. it's actually pretty interesting you know hey. like you get to learn about like uh like our, our behavior human behavior in the in the brain and stuff like that so it's, it's pretty cool i like it a lot hey does, does that help you out on the field at all like finding tendencies that the other team or yeah you know, team? you know that's it's, it's a cerebral game you know at quarterback so yeah we talk about that a little bit and um you're, you're you're thinking about and processing you know tons of information on the field uh in a short matter of time so yeah tough loss last week how are you guys rebounding? It doesn't happen to you guys often. Yeah, no doubt. I, I feel like uh, this week we, we came in and, you know, we, we understood where we were at and we just really put our heads down and went to work. And I feel like uh, we're going to have a really good showing on Friday. The guys really came together and we're ready to get to work. Hey, another big time matchup. Another 22 quarterback on the list right now. Trayson Borgay, Ridge Dutchikoff. Expect a shootout. Yes, sir. I expect a shootout. Ridge said the quarterback was nice and here he is dumping this touchdown in. I think he's got two tonight. They're having trouble with those extra points. Could come back to haunt them. I don't think so tonight, but it could. You never know. Had the right or wrong? You, you had the three. Hey, South Point defense playing hard. They're going to get their offensive ball back. Let's see if they can get anything going before the second half starts. No, it's not. That was... Ball! Run! Oh, yeah! Five, five! Hey, that boy from South Point super alert. Hey, play's not over just because the ball goes up in the air. Hey! Kind of. South Point just trying to get out of this uh, half and they're just going to take a knee. I see Mons hanging out with his kid over here, so I'm just going to bother him for a second. It is 19 to nothing, Saguaro at halftime. Saguaro leads South Point. Hey, I see there's uh, a lot of construction going on back here. I can only imagine that's going to be the Mons compound because keep this guy here at all costs. Scottsdale, whatever it costs you, keep this guy here. Obviously, I got to talk about the big rivalry game last week. Where do you go? Because I remember talking to you a couple years ago after the East loss, and you said that you learned so much more from your team after a loss. What, what do you get out of the last week? Yeah, well, you know, first off, hats off to uh, Chaparral. You know, they um, we, we had him down. I thought we played really well in the first half. And, um, you know, we, I thought we had a chance to put him away. You got to stop uh, three and out to start the second half. Ripped off a big, long run and, and thought we were getting ready to kind of put the game in control. Credit to their corner. He stayed in the play, hustled, uh, forced a huge momentum swing with that touchback. And, you know, they took the momentum when you play in a rivalry game, uh, you know, at their place. Their crowd was going wild and, and uh, we just didn't we didn't respond quick enough. Um, but, you know, I credit our kids. Um, when we were down seven late, we went right down the field 55 yards and, and uh, you know, we were there to win the game. So we went for two, uh, didn't run the play that we wanted to run. Um, but, you know, we just said it's, it's week three. You know, the gold ball wasn't going home with anybody. Proud of our guys. Um, it hurt. You know, we showed up on Saturday and, and, and it hurt. You know, it was it was a somber a somber vibe around here. But we said, you know what, you get one day to feel sorry for yourselves and then we got to move forward. All right, this South Point team, super talented. These freshmen, 3 you know, and you got your guy, Coach O, with your super talented freshman team over here. Garrett Martin, absolutely special. What are your favorite things about him? Tell you what, he's he's a dude, uh, big, long, athletic kid, really smart, physical, and um, you know he's he's the, what you want in a rush end. I mean, he's he's uh, he's twitchy, uh, come up with the ball, great first step, physical with his hands, um, and has good technique for a young guy. So he's going to be a special player in this program. Uh, we got a bunch of them in that in that class. Hey, and speaking of which, you know, out here at a freshman game, you're taking it in. Uh, you know, how special is it is it for you to have a talented freshman program like this? For everybody that talks about these transfers, for the record. Yeah, you know. Uh, 
obviously that's that's headlines you know that that gets clicks um and and you know people know what so we're not the only program in in the state that gets transfers um but but we are high profile and so people like to talk about it but we got a lot of dudes that come in here from day one and grind and stay in this program and uh and this class is phenomenal uh last year's class is phenomenal the class before that's phenomenal so you know we're excited about the pipeline we have right now coach o does a phenomenal job with these guys i mean dude the dude i don't think he's lost a freshman game knock on wood i mean he's he's uh he's a phenomenal coach works his tail off he's got a great staff Staff, and uh, the kids buy in they work hard and this is you know I think there's a misconception that we just kind of collect athletes and just roll out the footballs but man these dudes grind Owen Pimber gets into the end zone, uh, runs it in quickly as we start the third quarter, and Saguaro extends their lead. Uh, it could be a long night for South Point. It's going to be a long drive home. I will say that South Point's uh, punt coverage team has been really, really good. Uh, efficiently not letting uh, JJ Miles make an impact on special teams. Camera having some problems keeping up with Saguaro's uh, young speed. Uh, it's a little blurry, but you saw what happened over there. Owen Pimber uh, gets his second touchdown in about like three minutes. Uh, seems like just like 20 seconds ago he scored. Well, he scored again. Hey, Saguaro fully running away with this. We might see a little cardio for the clock. It is looking kind of heavy, right? Soro could have taken it in the end zone and could have made a running clock, but hey, these South Point Lancers fighting hard on defense and uh, they're actually going to give their offense the ball back after that big sack. <laughs> South Point picks up that first down, most likely to end the third quarter. They might run another play, but I highly doubt it. Maybe not as well. Oh yeah! 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 I'm going to smack you in the face with the, the big fella. Yikes. Oh, man. The bad news is that South Point's giving the ball back to Saguaro. The good news is, is they got Saguaro starting on Saguaro's own eight yard line. Five minutes left? I don't know. What do you think the over under is that Saguaro scores? Hey, I told you that that uh, scoreboard looked a little bit heavy and uh, that boy number 27, he definitely got that cardio going for it. We've got about two minutes left in the game. I mean, I'm anticipating that that's going to be the final score of the game. Hey, so world's freshman team, nice still. All right, so I think that that play is going to end the game. Uh, we have like 10 seconds left. So world's going to win this one. 
46 to nothing, setting the tone for their varsity team. Hey, these boys are hyped. This kid, Garrett Martin, is the truth. Um, absolutely legit. And Owen Pembert looked really, really good too, man. Hey, Coach O got another strong team. Sheesh. Saguaro, hey, I don't know if they're going anywhere in these rankings. After the season, nobody cares about these anymore. You're playing for that, to put state championships up there. That's what the goal of freshman football is, to learn the foundation, the culture, the grit it takes to add state championships. We haven't had one in two damn years. You guys get what I'm saying? Sunday, I was I was in the office. I was I was watching film on, on South Point. I had the Cardinals game on on the side, and man, I about broke my uh, conference table. And it was kind of one of those things where I was I was still trying to get over the uh, the hangover the loss to to, uh, to the guys on the other side of uh, of Hayden. And and uh, man, it it, uh, it just made, it kind of uplifted me seeing those guys do their thing at the highest level. You know, B Murph getting Player of the Week, Christian going over 100 yards. Right. Um, it's it's pretty special to see. You know, you got 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 guys like the Soli brothers and Will balling out, Keeley's balling out, yep. Kobe Covington's balling out. Denzel Denzel Burke is straight up balling. Hey, but uh, you were absolutely, man, I gotta say, you were absolutely right about Denzel Burke. I have to eat my words. I did not think that he was a natural defensive back. I thought that he was an athlete, a wide receiver of sorts. Hey, you called it. You really called it. I gotta put it out there on record. <laughs> you, you did it.